flying in Costa Rica is truly really amazing. The country, although it is small, it is beautiful and has a lot of variety. It has two coasts and lots of volcanoes. Some national parks where you can land. Some very remote areas with Indian communities where you can go visit. Costa Rica is a very friendly country. It is safe. And in this video I'm going to show you how is flying in Costa Rica, what can you see, and also now you can go and you can rent an airplane. If you have your pilot license, now you can fly in Costa Rica. This is Manuel Antonio National Park on the Central Pacific Coast. It's a beautiful place, beautiful beach. You can fly to Kepos Airport and it's only 10 minutes taxi to get here. Plenty of nice hotels and restaurants you can visit. This is Corcovado National Park in Osa Peninsula, towards the south of the country. These are deserted beaches because there is no access. The only access is by boat and it is very far. Again, this is in the South Pacific coast. You can fly for quite a long time along the shore and you won't see a single person. That's something I really like about flying in Costa Rica. If you want to get away and be in a remote place, you can really do it in an airplane. When you fly in Costa Rica in uncontrolled airspace, you always have to have flight following. It is called Coco Radio. Uh, they speak English so that it's not a problem. And they will always have you in their radar and let you know about traffic. Flying over volcanoes is an amazing experience. There are plenty of volcanoes in Costa Rica. There is no restriction, you coordinate with control and they will have you in the radar and there is no problem. This is Boas Volcano in the Central Valley. This is Irasu Volcano, also in the Central Valley towards the eastern side. To do these flights around the volcanoes, Irasu, for example, I climbed to 12,000 or 13,000 feet. This is Volcan Turrialba, toward the eastern side of the Central Valley. Elevation is 11,000 feet. It is very active. As you can see, it is still smoking. We climb to 13,000 feet to do this flight. I do not use oxygen because actually I have ridden my mountain bike to the top of this volcano many times. And the flights are not that long. Here we are landing in a Mubri. This is towards the Atlantic coast, near the border with Panama. It is an Indian community. I think I'm the only airplane landing in this airstrip in the whole country. So it gives you a feel of being in a very remote place. The airstrip is very primitive, old grown and rough. So I try to land very slowly. The village is very small, the people are super friendly and the food 
is Hola, really Miguel, good. Here we're talking in the small restaurant. It's a house made into a restaurant, and she ah, offers pues, pork bien, or chicken. Okay, Alex picked up the pork and I picked up the chicken and the food was really amazing. So when you land, wherever you go, you have to close your flight plan. Here Alex is closing the flight plan and again you have to open a new flight plan before you take off. During Christmas I fill up the airplane full of toys and I fly to this community to give the toys to the kids. So if you like backcountry flying, the feel of adventure, Plenty of bush flying, back country flying in Costa Rica, some challenging streets. This is a private airstrip near the Atlantic coast. This is an approach to Sirena Station in Corcovado National Park southern peninsula of Osa. This is a very rough strip, it has lots of mud, it's rooted and very narrow with tall grass. You can see it looks long from the air but actually usual is not too long, maybe 900 feet at the most. Sirena Station is very popular with tourists, there's lots to see, it's a virgin forest and there's a lot of animals. I think this is the most remote place in Costa Rica, only access is by boat, which takes about 4 hours, by hike, it takes 6 hours, or landing in this airstrip. And not many airplanes come here, maybe one or two in the whole country. So it is a very remote place. Again, this is Sirena. This time I'm landing from the mountain. Lots of tall trees, very dense jungle, and the airstrip is not easy to find. Don't think all the landing strips are like this in Costa Rica. This one is the most challenging one. So now you can come to Costa Rica, rent an airplane and fly also. Bring your pilot's license and medical certificate. You have to do a check ride. It costs $50 an hour. The flight to rent the Cessna 150 is $160 an hour. This is not my company, this is a business run by a friend of mine, but I highly recommend if you're a pilot and you're coming to Costa Rica to rent an airplane and discover the country. So the country is not only about volcanoes and beaches, you can also go to the valleys, there are nice hotels, you can discover the area, the cloud forests, coffee plantations, 
horseback riding, mountain biking. This is the airstrip for Hotel Quincara, which is located in San Isidro, south of San Jose. Something very popular we as pilots do in Costa Rica is to fly to airports next to the beach. So we just land and gain the water, no need for a car or a taxi. If you like surfing, there is plenty of beaches with good surf where you can just land and go surfing. Water is warm all year round. I have flown from Panama all the way to Seattle and uh, favorite places for me were Costa Rica and Seattle. Hope one day you adventure and come to Costa Rica and visit and I hope you like this video and if you want to support Back Country 182 please join me on Patreon. It is very easy to join to be a patron of Back Country 182 go to the uh, YouTube channel on the right hand side there is the link and then it takes you to the Patreon page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Back Country 182 YouTube channel. Also another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Back Country 182 channel. There is a link for Patreon, so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching, it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support.